See, we have to uh, figure out somehow, some way uh, to stop people. Uh, defensively, uh, we are not good at all. Um, to have a team come in here and score 136 points on 61% shooting uh, and 70 points in the paints, that's, that's not good. And I don't know, I'm not sure if we collectively as a group understand how important it is to try to fight like heck from the beginning of the game to the end of the game defensively. Uh, I, I mean, I give Thomas Bryant a lot of credit. He, he kicked our behind. And, the, you know, the tough part about it is, uh, you know, we, we didn't give Domus a ton of help down there. Um, you know, Keegan plays 30 minutes and has zero rebounds. Um, you know, Harrison, he's, he's, he's got a load of a guy that he's guarding in LeBron, and LeBron's out on the perimeter, so it's a little tougher for him to get defensive rebounds. But we got to get something from Keegan. We, we can't have him on the floor for 30 minutes and get zero rebounds, uh, especially down the stretch of a tough ball game. Um, but defensively, uh, you know, to give up the 70 points in the paint uh, is it, tough. It's tough to swallow, especially with them not even hitting a three in the second half. You know, we keep preaching to our guys, protect the paint, protect the paint, protect the paint, come early, come early, come early. And it, got, it has to be to a point where guys are going to go real early and give up a three and look at me and say, I did what, it, what you told me to ask, you know. Uh, I'm hoping somebody would, will do that. But some, somehow, some way, uh, we have to figure out collectively as a group how to defend, but more importantly than that, we have to commit to defending for 48 minutes because, uh, you know, if, let's face it, we can score, but we're terrible defensively. Yeah, Mike, um, you guys are just about at the midway point of the season, and the defensive regression has been yeah. really, really strong over the last, I don't know, three weeks. For sure. Is it a matter of, like, these guys just not figuring things out, or is there a point where you've got to ask for more help? No, you, you know, I mean, I, I love our guys, and they're more than capable of doing it. Um, I just don't know if they're used to doing it for for 82 games, you, you know. Um it, it, and maybe we have, you know, I, when I look at our roster, I don't know, and not that I'm asking for help, I love our roster, but it, as the season goes along, there, you have to be committed to the defensive end of the floor. I've had a lot of people tell me, hey, let's just outscore people because our offense is that good. I, I, maybe our guys are, maybe our guys have that mindset too, <laughs> you know, I don't know, but we have to commit to that side of the ball. And we do it, the, the tough part about it is we do it in stretches and then we go away from it. And there has to be some consistency on that side of the floor in order for us to be able to get wins versus good teams. Because like I said, our offense is, is, is good enough to do a lot of great things. But can we get consistent with the way we're going to defend? I'm not sure. We're going, to, we're going to keep trying to coach them and work at it and watch film and all that other stuff. But it hasn't happened yet. So I'm waiting for it. The day, not the day, the days for it to consistently happen. Mike, how much of it is also focus-based, especially in a game like tonight where both sides are scoring and going back and forth and you want to answer a bucket with a bucket? Is there, a, do you, are you noticing like a lack of focus defensively because of wanting to respond offensively? Well, yeah, it, it, I don't know if focus is the right word. You know, part of it is, you know, we want to play fast. And I think guys are just, at least the feel that I get throughout the course of the game, you know, we're okay with getting a bucket, and our answer to somebody scoring on us is to score back on them, which should happen, you know. I, I mean, I like the, the, the pace, but we have to somehow, some way, hold each other accountable and want to get a stop 
by doing things the right way. They hit four or five pull-up threes in the first half. Uh, those are tough shots. We'll live with those shots, all right? But they scored 32 points in the paint. And one of our three major themes for this team is we got to protect the paint. They made zero threes in the second half. And LeBron kept getting downhill after time, after time, after time without having body. Now, occasionally we had bodies. I think we took a charge one time. I think Foxy went up and went vertical another time. But I can show you more times than not where somebody got to the rim and the paint, nobody reacted on the weak side of the floor. Nobody. And that is, is tough to swallow because it's something that we've been preaching and preaching and preaching and preaching and drilling and drilling and drilling and drilling. And hopefully we'll get it sooner than later. But for us right now, we're going to be this. It's going to be a roller coaster of a ride because the way we play, we just want to outscore people, and that's not good enough to win games consistently. Mike, I, I was curious. You know, you've been in a lot of close games, going down the final moments. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, tonight looked like frustrations and emotions were kind of at a at a peak. How do you kind of deal with those with your team, kind of as games goes on? Is that a positive? Is it a negative? How do, how do you kind of look at that? I don't know. I mean, you know, it's an it's an a tense ball game. So I thought our I thought our emotions were fine. You, you know, down the stretch, you know, it, it, was, a, it was a tough call on Fox. You know, at the, for an end of a game call, a tough call. You know, he was on his hip and he showed his hands. And I don't, you know, you know, you can always say somebody hit somebody with the lower body, you, you know, or whatever. But um, that in itself is tough. But you know, it, it shows the guys care to me. Uh, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm not sure if we understand that we didn't lose the game in the last two minutes. We lost it over the course. It's, it's going to be hard to beat somebody if they're shooting 61% from the floor, you know, for a game. And so it's a cumulative effect uh, of them scoring whenever they wanted to very easily that put us in this predicament at the end and gave them an opportunity to win the ball game, you know. So, I, I, you know, in terms of the emotions and all that, you know, it's, it's part of the game. Everybody's human. The ups and the downs throughout the course, especially at the end, when it doesn't go your way, that's going to happen. But, again, like I said, we just have to do a better job throughout the course of the game of, of being consistent when it comes to getting stops. I feel like another thing that you've been drilling into the team is defending home court. You had another sellout crowd. How frustrating is it to open this five-game homestand 0-2? Oh, it's frustrating. You know, the crowds have been great, man. You know, you, I take my hat off to the fans because they've been coming out and they've been giving us a ton of energy. Uh, we we got to figure out how to make that energy, how, how we can gobble that energy up on the defense end of the floor, though. <laughs> Mike, is there anybody who who is doing enough and and pulling on, on the the rope um, on the defensive end of the floor? Like, who who are the guys you would point to that are that are doing things the right way? Well, I, you know, I, it, it's it's tough because you know, again, I go back to it's almost impossible for any one guy to guard the ball. You know. Uh, I firmly believe it's got to be five guys on a string, five guys guarding the basketball. And it's been multiple guys on the backside. It's, it's why it's tough when somebody does drive. First of all, if he drives by us in a straight line, that's frustrating, and it's happened to all of us, not some of us, all of us. Davion might be the one guy that it hadn't happened to, you know, much. Um, and then... We, we see a guy drive, but we stand on the weak side and we watch him lay it up or we watch him dunk it. To me, that, the, the, that's the most frustrating part of, uh, of our defense because any time I see somebody put the ball on the floor towards the rim, if I'm on the weak side, I'm coming to help. I'm sinking and I'm feeling, and we should have a triangle almost right outside that charge line on the weak side, and uh, we're not quite getting there right now with it.
So, you know, yeah, I, I, I can't say it's any one person that's doing a great job of it. Uh, I don't think collectively as a group we're consistently doing it together at the same time. So, thank you guys.